Welcome back my children to another running price mini kits opening video. Today I will be opening two Harry Potter mini kits. They're um, both different. One is a coloring kit and the other one is a pat patroness, patroness mini projector set. So in total I have, if I remember, I think 12 of these including these two. 12 of um, Harry Potter mini kits from running press. Say running press right here and they are all from running press and i've gotten all of them from either marshall's or tj maxx um they have uh, different prices but yeah um i really like harry potter and i thought the uh the mini kits were very very cool of course so i will be opening them in twos because um i have other running press mini kits videos that i open uh three each but i think i might start doing all of them in twos because it does take me a while to open three of them because um they're just very cool and it i just end up looking at them and appreciating them i guess or just looking at whatever it is and it takes time because uh i just want to see every detail and whatnot but anyways uh I'm gonna start first with the Harry Potter coloring kit. Includes 30 cards and 10 colored pencils. And there's the um, logo, it has Draco for some reason. Draco Dormains, Dorm, Nunquam, Tetilandas, whatever it's called. Anyways, there's a snake. There's the, the right side, the top. The left side has the barcode made in Thailand, a uh, remainder of contents made in China. And I think there's a date, it's December 2016 potentially. There's the bottom and the back. So let's see, there's the original prices. Bring Harry Potter's world to a vibrant life with this collectible coloring kit. It includes 30 illustrated cards with detailed designs to complete, 10 colored pencils, and two dis um, distinct, distinct, distinct magnetic frames to place your art. And there's the website and whatnot. It is six and up, and I am up. So yeah, anyways, first let's look at the little frame. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought it came broken. Is a frame? Or you could um, open them, I'm assuming. How do you do it? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, wow, I actually thought it was metal. Not this, this is not metal. When I saw them folded, it looked, it looked like metal. It looks very flimsy, doesn't look that great. And there's this one, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. I genuinely thought it was metal or steel, whatever. Anyways, whatever. Not so bad, I guess, for the price. Then there's um, there's empty. There's the cards that you could color in. There's Hermione, uh, Ron, and Harry. So let's look at the cards. I'm just gonna quickly open them. I don't wanna mess them up, of course. Come on. There we go. All right, oh great, how do I do this? Where do I open it from? Okay. I literally just took that piece off for no reason. I don't, I'm not even able to take this off. Oh my goodness. Okay, one second. Let me see if this helps. This is gonna be a little risky because I don't wanna cut the cards by accident. There we go. Oh great, that did not help. Stupid freaking plastic, come off. There we go, finally. Let me just throw this little piece out. I think I stuck my hand, okay, there. Anyways. Awesome. Feels like they're trading cards, but they're cards to color in, I guess. Let me just put my knife back. All right, so there's that picture. I'm not gonna bother coloring coloring them or try to color one in that's gonna take so long plus it's very detailed if there's very little pieces you could color or try to color them nicely i'm not gonna ruin them 
Let's look at all the cards. There's Harry on a bed, I'm assuming. Cool. There's, there's the back of all of them. All right, then there's um, Hermione and Harry, and that kind of looks like Snape, but that's not a Snape. There's an old woman, I believe. I kind of, I remember the scene. I just don't remember her name. Anyways, there, oh, there's Hagrid with Harry on the bike, and there's a, um, I think there's a Thestral, and I don't, I don't know who that is on top of the Thestral. And there's. Ron, Harry, I think that's Dobby. There's the, um, I forgot his name, Hermione, and there's that evil guy. I forgot his name as well. Hermione and Ron. I think that's in the hospital wing. What's he holding there? That like, fluffy thing. Anyways, there they are again. And uh, is that Cinemax in the back? Cinem cinem mag magic maybe cinem something cinemax I don't know. Then there's Harry using Lumos and uh, some like little skull in the back. Then there's uh, Harry letting his owl go, potentially throwing him in the air. Then he is once again with a backpack this time. Then um. I forgot his name, the little dwarf, dwarf guy holding the sword, the sword he wanted. Then there's, uh, is that the golden snitch? I think it is. And Harry. And there's Hermione. Hermione, is that how you pronounce it? Hermione, Hermione, Hermione. And there's, um, that's Do Dobby, right? Dobby? Yeah, I think it is. It kind of looks like the evil one. Then there's uh, the one who you may, should not name, obviously Voldemort with no nose. Then, um, damn, I forgot her name as well. The evil woman that killed um, the mother and father of, um, I forgot his name as well. Anyways, there's uh, Harry with his stance, Hermione alone, Ron, and then, um, Ron's mouse as a human. <laughs> then, uh, ooh, uh, Gryffindor. There's the cool lion. Slytherin. I love Slytherin with the snake. Then there's a, uh, oh wow, it doesn't have Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw. Okay, there we go. There's Hufflepuff with a little raccoon. Then Ravenclaw with a raven, of course. Then there's a, um, I think that's a hippogriff. Kind of hard to tell, at least for me. Anyways, uh, Dobby again, looking behind his back. Then there's uh, Harry riding uh, a broom. Harry receiving his owl, I believe. What does that say on the note? Oh, it just says Harry Potter, oh wow. Then there's um, the man eating book, trying to eat Harry. And, um, oh, that's it. It's just a copyright or a paper thing about copyright or whatever. There, that is it. Wow, okay, let me just, I shouldn't have put them like this. There we go, much better. And those are all the cards you could potentially draw on. I might do it at some time, at some point, I don't know, who knows. Anyways, I'll put them back. Oh, and I, no, wait, let me just check something. I want to see how it works. So I open this, and let's say you draw on it, and that's it, like that. It literally covers some of the drawing. Or would you put it like this? Yeah, that, that doesn't look right. Or, oh, okay, I think I got it. Would it be like this, maybe? Oh, yes, it's magnetic. I did not notice it. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, so that looks a little more better, I think. You could choose which one is in the front, which one is the back, I guess. So let me see. Yeah, this magnetic. I did not realize it. That's actually not bad. But they could have actually made this into like metal or steel, whatever, these parts. 
but pretty cool. Doesn't actually look bad. Awesome. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Like, put it right there. So I'm gonna put these back inside the little pocket right here. And now for the crayons, the very important part. Are you kidding me? Do I have to, oh wow. I have to open it with this. I mean, I guess I understand they could have steal the crayons from inside. So whatever, anyways. And these are the coloring pencils or crayons or coloring, yeah, coloring pencils, right? Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I guess I'll leave them like that. Like there's nothing special about them. It's just coloring pencils, obviously. There's a uh, 10, no wait, yeah, 10 in total. There's red, yellow, uh, lime green, dark green, orange, light blue, blue, brown, pink, and purple. Pretty cool. Awesome. It's a very big space for these little tiny, or whatever. They could have added something else or maybe more pencils, but whatever. Anyways, that is the Harry Potter coloring kit. I chose to open this one first because it was um, my least favorite out of all the Harry Potter mini kits I've, I got. Because it's just coloring kits, that's why. So yeah, anyways, but it's pretty cool though. Uh, I still think it's very cool. Now for this one. This one I actually thought it was pretty cool. So I decided to open it first, of course. To add something cool along with the somewhat boring one. But uh, it's still cool. Anyway, so Harry Potter Wizard Wizarding World. Uh, Patronus, Patronus Mini Projector Set. This is very interesting to see how it's going to work. So RP Minis. There is that. It was $7.99. I get a discount, so less than that. There's the back. I mean the bottom. Then there's the back. So there's the original price, $14.99. Call on the... Wait, it has a little dent right here. Whatever. Call on the patron, patronesses, patronesses of 11 major Harry Potter characters with this officially licensed collectible set, which includes 3-inch... I think that's what that means, right? Inch projector that features 11 patronuses, patronuses from the Harry Potter films. Bonus, 12th projection of the Harry Potter logo. Oh, wow, who cares? Just add it with the 11. Anyways, mini book with 22 full, full color stickers. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's uh, the bottom, Warner Brothers. So it contains all of these, that's three, six, nine, yeah, 12, including the bonus 12th projection. They could have just added it 12th, who cares? But whatever, anyways, and I'm gonna open it. So let me just do it nicely and carefully. Did I open it? Damn it. It's not sharp enough. It's like a little dull, the knife. The knife hurry up just open it whatever that's good enough for me so let me just open it careful there is the projector okay i have to find out if it needs batteries because it does not mention it there's the book what is this this little thing here what is this supposed to be is this included? Like, it's part of it? It's empty now. Yeah, it doesn't say if batteries are needed. Oh, yeah, yeah, required two AAA batteries, not included. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, luckily I have them. At least I think I do. One second. Um, what is this? Product information, battery installation and usage. Unscrew, oh, come on, I need a freaking screw. Great. Let's see, um, there's the, from the films of Harry Potter, Patronus, Patronus sticker book. It's actually very cool. I like how it looks. So let's see, first is, that's not the first page. So there's the, um, I guess the beginning, then it's a, it's a full sticker book. So Ron Weasley, there's a, a dog, Luna Lovegood, 
pretty cool. She's a little rabbit. Then there's Severus Snape as a, a deer, I think. There's Snape with his weird face. And then there's Albus Dumbledore, the very old man. And that's a phoenix, of course, his, uh, his spirit animal. Then there's Cho, Cho Chang, Cho Shang, Chang, whatever. The girl that Harry should have ended up with. Then there's uh, Seamus Finnegan. And he's a wolf, I believe. I mean, uh, a fox, not a wolf. Then there's uh, no stickers there. <laughs> okay. Then there's Harry Potter, of course. He's um, a deer. Uh, no, no. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what it's called. Oh, uh, ant. No, no, it's not antler. A moose. Moose. Is that a moose? I don't know. Anyways, Hermaji Granger. Shouldn't she be a cat? Why is she a little otter? Is that an otter? Or, um, yeah, I don't know what it's called. Shouldn't she be a cat? Shouldn't she does have her cat? Anyways, then there's Dolores on bridge. Everybody hates her. Why is she the cat? Cats are cool. She shouldn't be a cat. She should be, um, I don't know, an old hag is what she is. Then there's Ginny Weasley, the girl that Harry sure should not have ended up with. And she's a unicorn or a horse, whatever. Then there's um, Eberforth Dumbledore. Oh, okay, the brother of Albus Dumbledore. And he's um, a goat, I think. The greatest of all time, and that is it. They forgot the um, the guy, I forgot his name. But the one that um, everything bad would happen to him, whatever his name was. Oh, and um, what's her name? The teacher, the other teacher, um, the woman teacher, what's her name again? Yeah, I forgot her name. But you guys are who, oh, the one who turned into a cat. Her, whatever her name is, uh, is I lost her name. I, I know her name, but I just cannot say it. But yeah, anyways, let me open this quickly. Do the thing, there we go. So there's the projector, and that's it. Oh, okay, it, they all come in, in, these, in this thing. Okay, cool. Awesome. So you guys could kind of see them a little bit. I'm obviously gonna show it. Oh, you can see it a little better there. I'm obviously gonna turn it on. I'm, I just got the, need to get a screw and the, um, the, what's it called? Oh, I guess you could put it from, how does it go? Here, like this? Like this? How do you, wait. It's like this. I would assume, wait, whoops. Oh, great, did I break it? I swear it burned not have broken. Oh, okay. I think it's like this. No, oh, wait. How is it supposed to be now? Okay, I see this little, oh, there we go. It did not break. So this goes here, this little, yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, you could, okay. You could rotate it, okay, good. Anyways, let me get batteries and a little screw thingy so that I could uh, obviously get it to work. Okay, I am back. So I got the batteries and I got my screw, my tiny one, of course. I'm a handyman. So let's see, just gotta take it out. There we go. So one right here. Oh, I grabbed the wrong ones, oh great. They're supposed to be the smaller sizes. I thought it was the big ones. Okay, I do have them. No worries. I'll be back. All right, I brought them. So let's see. There we go. Luckily, I have uh, a bunch of spares of the little and the big ones. Where's the thing? There it is. First, wait, first. Oh, okay, it turns on, as you guys can see. So now I'm going to screw it. Obviously, I had to test it out before I screwed it again. 
I'm not gonna be unscrewing and screwing over and over. So there, it's tight now. So what do I do? Let me see. First the this. Hmm. It's kinda hard to one second. Yeah, it's a little hard to tell. Oh, okay, there we go. So let me just point over there. Uh, if you guys can see right there, there's the um, projection. So that's, that's the deer. It's kind of hard to tell, but uh, you could see it pretty well. It's a deer. Okay, wait, let me just zoom in if I'm able to. Let me see, probably like right here, a little closer. There we go, it actually looks so much better when it's uh, closer. So there's the deer, or whatever that is. That is a deer, right? All right, so next one, let me see. What is that? Um, I think this is a phoenix, right? It's very hard to tell. That kind of looks like a, a armor like a mask but i think that's a phoenix it's kind of tough to tell i'm looking at it on the side as well and it's uh yeah it's tough to tell what it is but i think it's a there's the phoenix there that one you could see more proper you could tell what it is it's a, a rabbit the bunny from um luna there's a, the cat the kitty cat that one you could tell very well there's the um i think that's a moose whatever that is the harry potter one then that is the horse for jenny 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 whatever we call her then there's the fox then there's a uh, okay that's a phoenix i think that's the phoenix then that is the otter, uh, Hermione's animal, spirit animal, whatever you call it. Would it look better from from here? I think it, it's kinda, I guess. Then there's the, what is that, a dog? It kinda like, it's basically the same pictures from the book. Okay, yeah, so that's the, so what is that thing? Oh, um, yeah, it is the phoenix, the one I, the one that was hard to tell what it was so oh that's the um the other bird for cho the other one the other bird the second bird and there's the logo for harry potter of course then um there's the goat that is uh the deer once again and yeah there's the phoenix it's very hard to tell. Let me just quickly check the book. Where is the phoenix? Yeah, it's very hard to tell the phoenix, but it's the phoenix. This part right here, the bird, to me looks like a, a, a ma armored mask. It just looks like that. But yeah, that is uh, the phoenix. And then there's the other bird right here. The, no, that's not the bird. That's not the bird either. Where is the damn bird? There it is. The other bird from Cho, the Asian, Asian girl. But yeah, anyways, that is it. It's a very cool projection thingy. Let me just put the camera back to where I usually have it. Like this. Where's the, oh, I zoomed in, that's why. Okay, now, now I remember. Anyways. So yeah, I just gotta fix it properly. So yeah, there. that is the little projection thingy. It's very cool. I'll just keep the batteries inside there. And uh, oh my goodness, how do I take it out? Oh, there. Should I take out the batteries actually? Because they do end up. I'm not gonna use it again in a long time, so I'm not. I don't wanna leave them in there and have them get the white stuff. I don't know what it's called. I forgot what it's called. So yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to show it obviously since i'm able to and yeah it was very cool very cool little harry potter item that i got it was very interesting the uh 
the projections could have been a little better, a more better quality. quality. But uh, regardless, it's, it's good for the price, I guess. It was a $7.99, so not bad. And um, I think it's pretty cool. I have no problem with it, I guess. And yeah, that is it for the opening. I will open the rest another day. I will continue with another two next time, whenever I do. But yeah, anyways, that is it. And now for Garfield's 23 calendar segment. 2023 calendar segment, that is. It is the segment where I continue showing the comic strips from the day I left off. And I left off on the 14th of May pretty far ahead yeah there we go 14th of may which also counts as the 13th so there's the comic if you guys want to read it so next is the 15th on monday may may uh monday 15th no special date so let's see there's a mouse in a car that is actually very cool zoom <laughs> and john is just very surprised and concerned and Garfield uh, treats it very normal. Garfield, do something! Sure thing. <laughs> Slow. <laughs> and, and obviously, John is not having it. He's very disappointed. He's questioning his whole life and Garfield's life at the same time. That is very funny. <laughs> I love that. Anyways, <laughs> next one. May 16th on a Tuesday, no special dates once again. They say that to avoid burping, you should drink slowly. Gluck, 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 gluck. Um, Garfield is filling up his cheeks with the soda and uh, John is just talking. Then there's Garfield burping and, and John loses all his hair. Or you can just let her, let her rip. <laughs> And he's uh, very happy about it. And John is questioning his life once again. I love it. Anyways, next date. May 17th on a Wednesday. No special date once again. Purr. He's purring. And um, what was your name again? Liz is finding it very cute. Aww. And John is like, uh, what's so special about it? Anyways, he walks away. They're both looking at him. One is with like jealousy potentially, and hers with like admiring, admiring Garfield with the cuteness and whatnot. <laughs> Purr, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> He's trying to be like Garfield. That is so funny. Who doesn't want attention, of course? At least that type. Anyways, uh, May eighteenth, Thursday. No special dates. Dear Ask a Dog, there's Odie, he has a very, very long neck, kind of looks like a little giraffe. And yeah, Garfield with a paper. Do you bite? Hmm, he is thinking. Bark, bark? No, this letter is not from mistake. <laughs> oh, he's asking if it's a, a steak asking the question. <laughs> If so, he does bite, of course, if it's a steak. Anyways, now for today's date. Friday, May 18th. No special date, once again. The world is my oyster. Oyster. No, that's not it. The world is my pizza. Because <laughs> uh, the world is a shape of a pizza, just around. Very cool. I love these comic strips, they're very funny. So far, the, this had like three very funny ones. The other ones are so and so. But yeah, anyways, that is it. I will continue the next video to continue with the comic strips and continue whatever other opening I do on the next one. But for, that, but for now, that is it. So I hope you get, oh my goodness, why can I close it? There we go. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment down below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next Harry Potter Running Press Mini Kids opening.